Good morning, everybody. God bless you all indeed. Shalom and love. So, the Bible tells us to be a discerning people. To be a very discerning people. And you know that um, prophetically, we need eyes to see and ears to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. So, When, through the Holy Spirit, you should be able to discern good from evil. You should be able to discern a witch, a wizard, a warlock. You should be able to discern if somebody's doing witchcraft or not doing witchcraft. For example, let me give you an example. If somebody tithes seeds or gives into the ministry, the minute the money comes into the ministry, I can tell you if that person has been doing something that they should not have been doing because the spirit that's on the person will transfer to whatever they do. It will be in their clothes. Amen. So the spirit will transfer even on the money. When a person texts, and when a person types on social media, I can tell you exactly if that person is doing witchcraft or not. Because their spirit, the powers, the energies that they possess will always follow. So my wife bought me a little gift. And I'm, I'm sure many of you have heard of this company for men with some strange names called Manscaped. Manscaped. And we're not into the filth, so my wife just bought me a little compact, um, you know, a shaver. So, when I held the box in my hand, I noticed something wasn't right by just holding the box. I felt, whoo, I felt dizzy, oh my goodness, something's wrong here. And then the Holy Spirit told me, check the box carefully and tell me what you see. And behold, when I look on the box, if you look carefully at the bottom with the circle and the triangle is the Masonic Lodge. The Masonic Lodge. The Masonic Lodge. They put their logo and they just put portable design. You see? So, you know, the Masonic Lodge has all the fancy handshakes and everything. So, any person who is in the Lodge will automatically understand that product is was made by one of their brothers. It's, it, it's made and produced by the Masonic Lodge. Amen. So, um... This was quite interesting. This is why you need to learn. Obviously, I'm going to I'm going to check it out. But this is why you need to be be a discerning people through the Holy Spirit. You need to be a person who sends who feels. Amen. You know, people give into the ministry from all over the world. I can tell you the minute that money arrives. What that person is doing, if they have a crystal ball. If they're doing psychic readings, if they are not straight, if they're not honest, you see, because through the prophetic children of God, through the gifts of the Holy Spirit, if we are truly functioning through the gifts of the Spirit, nobody should be able to sneak up on you. No man should be able to just pull a fast one on you because the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit will teach you all things. Amen. The Holy Spirit. The minute I took the shaver out the box, the shaver, the, the mark is not on the shaver, it's on the box. I always dedicate and consecrate it and give it to Jesus, sanctify, consecrate, dedicate, purify, holy Lord, wash it in the blood, Lord, I, I give it to you, Jesus, and ask that you will bless it and cover. Amen, I always do that with everything I buy. If it's a shirt, if it's a pen, everything. Amen. 
So ask the Holy Spirit to give you eyes to see and ears to hear. Ask the Holy Spirit to make you sensitive to his presence, to what he's doing, to what he's speaking, and to what he's saying. Amen? So it will come a point that if people are saying, for example, hallelujah, praise the Lord. If you're walking by the spirit of God, you should be able to, you will discern, you'll be able to pick up if that person is bluffing, if they're lying, or if they're deceiving, because the spirit of God will tell you what's going on in a person's life. And if you're not walking in this level of discernment, this is how you can be deceived. Because you may go and hug someone and, and not realizing that that person is an agent of darkness. That person is not walking right with God. They are doing stuff they should not be doing. And you will go and form a covenant or make some agreement with them. Some of you, I'm hearing in the spirit, some of your lives are even, you are encountering problems spiritually, physically, financially, because you have made an evil covenant with people. You are in an evil covenant. There's somebody who came into your life, <coughs> excuse me, that you don't even realize they were not of God. They played the game. They did, they sang the songs and they sing, sang the hymns. <coughs> yeah, we don't like these messages coming out, you know. And they were doing all of this, but they were not right. So as a result of that, you form the friendship, you form the covenant and the covenant you need to break from them. Say with me, I didn't have plans to do this, but I'll just go where the Holy Spirit is taking me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I renounce every covenant to which my spirit, soul, or body is joined. That is not the will of Jesus Christ. I renounce every covenant agreement vow, promise, pact, commitment, every bondage that joins my soul to a witch, a wizard, a warlock, a sorcerer, a diviner, a wolf in sheep clothing, or someone that is operating under the influence of witchcraft, Jezebel spirit, marine spirits. Lord, wherever my soul, my finances, my life, my ministry, my call is in an evil covenant with Satan, knowingly or unknowingly. I renounce it. I break it. I arrest it. Through the blood of Jesus, I sever the covenant. I break it completely and totally forevermore. And I renounce all soul ties, spirit, soul, and body ties with these individuals. I bind all the demons involved, all the curses, all the spells, all the enchantments, all the incantations, every snake, serpent, and scorpion that's involved. I bind them and I loose them to the bottomless pit. In Jesus' name, leave and go. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let the blood of Jesus Christ stand between me and any evil covenant. I decree and declare, I am now washed 
cleansed, consecrated, sanctified by the blood of Jesus. And I have been made free. For whom the Son sets free is free indeed. If you just said that prayer, be very mindful now because often the Holy Spirit would, you might be watching social media. You might be on a messenger, a group, whatever. You might be watching and notice something is not right with a specific person. You might be observing it. But here comes this, this spirit that arrests most Christians. I am in the Lord. God is love. Pardon? We know that already. But this is also a spirit you need to be mindful of. Because the spirit of God is showing you something about that person that you should, every time they come online, you should be praying, you should be warfaring, you should be shutting down the assignment. God is showing you something, but you're not reacting and you're not taking your watchful stand. Some of you would know this and you would still go and make agreements and pacts with these persons, even though you know they are not right. From a ministry standpoint, okay, I, this is, I'm going where I shouldn't with this message. I just wanted this to be really short. Nonetheless, the Lord bless you and keep you. And may the Lord give you eyes to see and ears to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. And one more time, look, look at the bottom. Oh, sorry, hold the box up. Look at it, look. The circle and the compass. Can you see it there? The Masonic logo. Search it online, the Masonic Lodge logos. Look, you see it there? So Satan has marked this product. Amen, somebody. May you be able to discern. You see, because I noticed what this demon doing coming in my presence. Ooh, I feel nauseous. What's this? This is not normal when you hold a box. And the same discernment works. I said, when you meet people on the street or is somebody, it, you can tell if somebody has been contacting false prophets. I see this often or doing something against you. I can say here, because I'm not going to call the person's name. There's even a person who I will address as sister who has been burning charms against me, who's been using charms against me. You might say, why is she still? Why did God not do nothing yet? Don't worry about that. <laughs> Just don't worry about that. I can feel it. When people do witchcraft, sorcery, if you're walking through of the gifts of the spirit are apparent. You should be able to discern on that level. Hey, something spooky like dookie. A nookie patuki. Amen. You should be able to sense it. And discern it. That you do not get deceived. Don't get deceived, brothers and sisters. The Bible says every person who say, Lord, Lord, will not enter the kingdom of God. Amen. Meaning... There are people who are in the church saying, Lord, Lord. Amen. There are people who are saying, Lord, Lord. God bless you, everybody. Shalom.